and uh, it's, uh, the discussions are going on well. It's not going to be easy, but it's going to be done. Um, it's not something that you will just start and finish today. So guys, Governor Alex Uti of Abia State, a seasonal technocrat, mm -hmm. a visionary leader, has unveiled an ambitious agenda to revitalize the AIMBA city and propel it into the 21st century. His administration has hit the ground running, initiating a series of mega projects that promise to reshape the city landscape and elevate the state and the standard of living for its residents. In this comprehensive report, we will delve into the top mega projects undertaken by Governor Alex Oti, exploring their significant scope and potential impact on Abia's future. Akunu Manon Zatanam Utasika, governor of since almost one year that he resumed office. Now, the number one, the Enimba Economic City, spanned over 9,696 hectares in Abia State. It is the joint adventure between Crown Realities PLC, the Abia government, and the federal government. It is part of the Made in Nigeria for Export program and it is hailed as Africa's largest urban development project. This special economic zone aims to link nine states in the southeast and south south regions, targeting a potential market of 60 million people. Axis Bank is investing 150 million US dollars in this new city with the federal government entrusting 20% of its equity to the sovereign wealth fund. This was scheduled to commence in 2024. This year, we will kickstart the ambitious projects. It is envisioned as a vibrant integrity city blending industrial activities, logistics, residential living, entertainment, health care, education, technology and aviation sectors. It holds free trade zone status and aligns with Nigerian export focus strategy. Additionally, the economic city has acquired land out the zone for expansion, a partnership with Mariel which see the construction of a 10-story four-star hotel. So guys, you've seen and heard part of the doings of the governor of Abia State, Alex Oti. Man, this man has come to serve the people. This is not business as usual. I wish other governments and other governors will come together and learn from this man. He meant well for these people. Look at the works he's doing in Abia State. Look at the works he's doing there. Man, this, 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 thing is, this thing is very, 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 very... I can't even explain. I don't know the words used to explain this. He's doing well. Just look at the mighty projects he's handling. It's not a thing, it's not a thing of joke. He's doing it and he's showing evidences. You people are seeing it. So, guys, let's move on to the number two, the Abia State Seaport. In continuing his agenda to enhance the logistics and capacity of the economy of Abia State, Governor Alex Oti, speaking at the 74th Independence Anniversary of the People's Republic of China, stated that he would need the support of both the Chinese government and the investors. The deep sea port is located at Waza in Okwa East and is developed along with Abia Innovation Park. According to the governor, the deep sea port will be operational in 24 months from the initial flag off and gr groundbreaking day, which was September 30th, 2023. So guys, the last but not the least, Potakot Enugu Railway Rehabilitation. The Potakot Enugu Rail Line is one of the oldest rail lines in Nigeria in the colonial era after decades of use. The railway has fallen into a state of despair. The governor initiated the plans to rehabilitate the full length of this rail line. This rehabilitation includes complete replacement of the rail tracks and rehabilitation of the train stations. Modern trains are expected to be procured for the line as opposed to the standard gauge rail lines being built in other sectors of the country. The Potakot Enugu line will utilize narrow gauge rail lines. The first track replacement, which began from Potakot to Aba, has been completed, and the station rehabilitation is expected to follow suit. And a kodekwa here, man. So, guys, you've seen the recent beauty in Abia State. Now we have come to the end of this video. Please, if you are new to this 
channel don't forget to subscribe see you in the next video